This is La Bamba Barrio, a subdistrict of Dahabom, Dominican Republic. With help from the Carter Center, the citizens of La Bamba are fighting the devastating mosquito-borne illness, malaria, found in southern regions of the country. One of the community leaders tackling malaria head-on is 32-year-old Heconia Rendez Gomez, who lives with her four children in her clapboard house in La Bamba. She keeps her home as neat as a pin, and Heconia is very attentive to malaria prevention. Her aunt, she says, is currently suffering from the disease, though Heconia has never had it. Because of intensified health education supported by the Carter Center, Heconia knows how to protect herself and her children from malaria. She covers her water, preventing it from becoming a mosquito breeding site. And she and her children sleep under a mosquitero, a bed net impregnated with safe insecticide that keeps away the night-biting mosquitoes carrying the potentially deadly disease. Only a few hundred yards away from Heconia's house lies the Massacre River, a natural border between Haiti and the Dominican Republic. It is here that Anopheles mosquitoes travel back and forth, spreading malaria between La Bamba and its Haitian neighbors. In another part of the border, late at night, scientists travel to a cattle pen, bringing with them plastic aspirator tubes, cups covered with netting, and flashlights. They use these tools to patiently capture hundreds of the white-footed Anopheles for their study samples. The goal is to show that prevention efforts in this community are working, making binational malaria elimination possible. It's like a sauna on the farm, and mosquitoes are everywhere, preying on cows and any humans nearby. Angel Solis, an entomologist for the Dominican Republic Ministry of Health, jokes he should wear sweatpants so he can run away if he angers a bull. Working in these conditions is not easy, but there's a certain satisfaction to the hunt. Gotcha. That's one more mosquito for the lab and one less for La Bamba.